break here at Marnica Oval and something a little bit different tonight. We've got the Big Bash Smash, a six-hitting competition. The six non-playing teams tonight have got a member here who are going to try and bash it out of the park. We've got Roz Kelly here. Roz, can you explain the rules? Well, the aim of the game, first and foremost, is entertainment. 306 sixes have been belted so far this tournament. Each team has put up one of their big guns and they will face two deliveries each from a bowling machine. Each, each shot will be measured by Hawkeye Technology. The longest six, they will be crowned the champion, the biggest hitter of the Big Bash, and they will be given $5,000 to donate towards the Alana Madeline Foundation. And it's a wonderful cause to be donating money to. Right, we're going to get underway. Roz, you take some cover. I've got Craig Simmons is here from the Adelaide Strikers. Simo, which part of the ground are you targeting, straight or cow corner? Yeah, unfortunately, the long side cow corner, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, the left hand has been ripped off. Right, let's get into it. You go, you've got two deliveries to face, so here we go. The big bash smash. We're going to measure each shot. Oh, he's just shanked it around to the leg side there. I don't think he's got that as well as possible. He had a sh huge BBL last year. We'll just have a, a look and get the measurement. We're going to have a little look at a replay here. I don't think he got that as well as we know that Craig Simmons can hit them. It's a high full toss for Oz and he didn't really get a hold of it. He's got one more shot to go though, so he's just warming up. That's right. They've uh, just been sitting warming up out the back in the nets. No, we've got no result there. We've decided that hasn't gone far enough. Ball two. Oh, oh he's shanked it around the leg side again. <laughs> he's picked up a nice four there. So uh, we just... OK, that finishes okay, Craig no Simmons. no here, unfortunately. He's, uh, he's walking off there. So next up is Chris Hartley from the Thunder. Arch, you've had a, a couple of games off now. A big warm-up. Did you get a hold of him out in the nets? Uh, I hit a couple all right, but as Simo said, the, the long, long fence is that way, so uh, but we'll uh, have a good crack here. Straight down the ground, maybe. <laughs> no chance. Good luck, mate. Righto. Chris Hartley from the Sydney Thunder. He's lining up in the big bash smash. What's he got? Oh, it's all leg side for the left hand. It's, it's really taken out all the crew here. Behind the wicket. I'm getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> Another no okay. result for that one. Another no result. We need them to go a little bit further for the Hawkeye to pick it up here. Second delivery for Chris Hartley from the Thunder. All oh, right off the queue in. So, <laughs> another no register there. Right, well, it's leaving it all open for the next entrance. Callum Ferguson is here from the Melbourne Renegades. Okay, Cal. What sort of bowling's harder to hit a six off? Spin bowling, pace bowling? Uh, we like a bit of pace on the ball normally, so hopefully that's just enough here for me. It looks like there's a bit there. Okay, you got the short boundary over there. Go for it, mate. Melbourne Renegades, Carl Ferguson. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> he held his shot nicely too there. It's the Kodak moment. Here's the replay. Waist high fully. I'm not sure he's got it cleanly, but it's gone far enough. So he will go top of the table with that. Oh, I think he'll <laughs> definitely be top of the table. We're just waiting for that first score. The, the marking there comes in at 84, 84 metres. metres. Okay, ball two for Callum Ferguson. Oh, I don't think he's quite got it like he got the first one. So, we do have a leader though. We've got a registration on the scorecard. John o. Wells from the Hobart Hurricanes, 250s in the tournament. I guess you're going to target the same way, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Short boundary, so I'll be trying to clear that. All right, mate. Good luck. Hobart Hurricanes, finalists in BBL3. John o. Wells. Oh, he's hit a... Not too bad. It's gone well in front of square. So I'm not sure that's going to beat Callum Ferguson. So ball two for John O'Wells. What's he got? Oh, I think he's going to clear the boundary. He's got it over. It's a six. We'll get a registered score there. And I suspect it's not quite as big as what we saw from Callum Ferguson. Now, next man in from the Stars, the Melbourne Stars. We're just going to have a quick look at the replay. John O'Wells, he got it over the fence. We'll just get a score registration. Callum Ferguson in front on 85, was it? 78, 78 metres, so not quite. Right, big juke. Mate, we saw your club three in a row down the MCG. Reckon you got Cal beaten? I'm not sure, mate. This looks quite tough. The boys look to be sort of struggling a bit, so hopefully I can get one out of the middle. All right, mate. Well, I hope you loosen up the back. Swing hard, big fella. One of the bigger hitters in the tournament is John O'Hastings. Oh, it's hard. Look out. <laughs> but it's not a six. It needs to be a six to get registered. 
So second ball. Oh! <laughs> Ross, I think we might have a new leader. Yes. And the crowd are loving it because they, every player has signed each ball and they get to keep it, whichever one they catch. So the crowd See get a souvenir. And our sixth batter will be Ben Cutting. But before that, here's a replay. Helmet cam, as always, from John Hastings. He's got a hold of that. He's gone right at the top tier of that stand. And what's the measurement? Can't... Oh, 87, 87 metres. 87. So we'll update the leaderboard. The two big registered scores. I think that'll see John Hastings head to the top. There it is. Three registered scores. So, Ben Cutting. Mate, do you know the biggest six you've ever hit? Uh, 107 a couple of weeks ago. 107. Well, mate, you get that. You get the title. A few grand to the Atlanta and Madeline Foundation. So here we go. Ben Cutting. Quite possibly the biggest hitter in the tournament. 87 to beat. Oh, it's high. <laughs> it's about 100 metres in the air. It is a six. Ros, I don't think Just it's going to beat 87. <laughs> Okay, we'll just check a replay of that. It was a six. We're just going to get a little registered total there. I think, Ros, I think it was 100 metres up. It was very high. At least the crowd's getting a bit more action now. And the crowd do get to keep the ball. Whoever can hang on to it. Went almost over the line. Signed by the players, yep. 69 metres. 69 metres, right. So let's have right. a look at the leaderboard to see where he is now. I think he's in third place. Next ball. Oh, it's a wide. It's been deemed a wide. <laughs> He's going to get another go. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to hold there. The machine playing tricks. Oh, he's given that a good nudge. It's disappeared into the night sky. It is a six. Still not sure it's going to be Big Duke Hastings. We'll just get a little uh, registration. The result will be coming. The big bash smash here. Ben Cutting. And he got the luxury of a wide, so he got a third strike. Let's get the updated score. 79 metres. So, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. John Hastings from the Melbourne Stars takes out the Big Bash Smash. He's the champion, and he gets $5,000 to donate to the Alana Madeline Foundation. John, congratulations. Yeah, it was a bit harder than it looked. Yeah, it was a bit harder than it looked. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm glad to uh, be able to present this check for sure. Where's all the representatives from? We've got Dipper and we've got Judith from the Alana Madeline Foundation. Thanks, Rod.